Greetings, I'm Dave Gilmore, and this is Design Intelligence. A regularly stated idea is that trust is hard won, but easily lost. Well, I take issue with that. Authentic trust is built over time and is based on the fundamental value of relationship. When we are in a true relationship with someone, we trust them and they us. This is forged over time. Observing how the other responds to trouble, criticism, failure, all reveal the character of that person. Watching how the other handles praise, success, and adulation is equally revealing to their character. When someone fails to remain consistent and to a positive character observed over time, well, that's just human. Humans fail themselves and others. It's not the failure that matters as much as what one does next that counts. When in authentic relationship with a colleague, we accept the positives and the possible negatives that go with that relationship. When we only accept the positives, we're treating the relationship in a shallow manner, and it's doomed to fail. Humans are inclined to judge others' failures harshly. I suppose that's because they have never come to the value of self-reconciliation, and so they reject themselves. It's hard to accept the faults in others and be openly forgiving and gracious when you can't accept yourself with the myriad failures you commit along the way. But it's awfully lonely living in judgment, and beware, because as you so harshly judge others, you'll get the same back multifold. Authentic trust isn't easily lost. Authentic trust is marked by the benefit of the doubt. Authentic trust seeks to understand rather than assume the worst. I had an incident occur a while ago in what I thought was an authentic relationship founded in trust. My colleague and I had lived some life together in the corporate context. We had journeyed through several very difficult situations and had come through each better than going in. We had arrived, or so I thought, at a place of open trust, each believing the best in the other. Well, something went wrong, and I was to blame. As far as he was concerned, I failed my friend. Well, I never had a chance to correct the error, as he immediately judged me, announced his judgment, and disparaged my integrity to others, wrote me off, and never sought to understand or hear the circumstances of what had actually occurred. I was, of course, hurt by it all, in that I believed the best in him, but he didn't in me. Ever had such a situation occur in your life? This is where your own integrity is most tested. You can strike back and judge in return. You can attack letting others know what you know about this other. Or you can remain silent and be the authentic you hoped this sad friend had seen in the first place. Again, it's not the conflict or failure or relational disconnect that matters as much as what one does next that counts. Every sustainable relationship is founded on trust. In the absence of trust, suspicion, doubt, and fear fill the gap. Far too many leadership teams are marked by the absence of authentic trust, and as a result, they operate through suspicion, one-upmanship, and nagging doubt. And frankly, friends, life is too short to live in such a way. As a leader who seeks to be authentic, effective, and trusted, you have to make choices about passing judgment on others or leaning in with sincere desire to understand. This is easier said than done, as most are addicted to self-preservation. And a close cousin to that is passing judgment on others to deflect the truth about yourself. When you own the truth that you are as easily susceptible to failure as the next person and that we need the support of one another, well, then you're being that authentic leader we all hope you to be. What kind of leader are you? Until next time, I'm Dave Gilmore, and this is Design Intelligence.